the absolute horrific devastation from the Maui fires has now made it the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history, with thousands also displaced after losing their homes. Maui resident Oprah is not only giving a huge donation to help, but also rolling up her sleeves. I was coming back from a hike and saw this wall of black smoke on the west side of Maui. The smoke was so thick it was covering the sun. I didn't know at that moment that that was the town of Lahaina being incinerated. Oh my gosh, look at the harbor. Oh my God. Oprah, whose home is about 40 miles from Lahaina, was spared, is providing emotional comfort and physical aid to the shelters in one of the hardest hit areas. I've met so many incredible people. One guy, Julius, he had to run to escape the fire and said to me that um, he could feel his skin popping as he was running. Oprah shared Julius's story with CBS News. Well, I'm running because I cannot see anything. It's all black. I thought I gonna die. Then there's Kaunani Adolfo's story, who despite losing some of her own family members, is helping out. I'm just a volunteer. I'm a nobody. I'm just part of the public. This is my county. I'm born and raised You're here. You're a big somebody, girl. Don't I'm, say that. I'm never leaving. I'm completely heartbroken over this. The Rock is thanking fans for their support and encouraging them to donate what they can. I haven't lost a family member. I didn't lose my house. You immediately go like, I'm really lucky. Now what the hell can I do? The before and after photos of Mick Fleetwood's popular restaurant in Lahaina show the shocking charred aftermath of the blaze. The Hawaii National Guard is now on the scene engaging in search and rescue efforts as stories of survival begin to surface. <laughs> 19-year-old Noah Tompkinson and his 13-year-old brother Milo spent hours in the water along with their mother to escape the flames. We didn't save her, she also saved us. If any of us were alone, I don't know if we would have made it. Hey, if anybody's still out here, it's time to go! And there were heroes, including charter boat crew members Dustin Johnson, who ran through the pier warning of the approaching flames. I just ran out to the beach and I ran south and I just helped everybody I could along the way. The firefighters all might be trapped. It was scary. Uh, people were scrambling for their lives. Los Angeles local news station KNBC also spoke to Juby Bedoya, who stepped in to help a young family from California with five kids who he found frozen by the water's edge. The dad gave me the two-year-old, and from that time that he gave it to me, I had that son in my arms that clung onto my neck. The mom didn't want to come in. The husband grabbed her. Juby crediting the piece of plywood they clung to with keeping them alive until the Coast Guard arrived. There was about 30, 40 of us out there floating in the water in the dark, it just just not knowing where to go. 